Let's play some Sentinels. Ah, oh, pickle fans, come on. <laughs> oh, you've been quoted out of context. You must be a famous person now. I am a famous person now. But we're gonna win. Unless the environment kills us. See, I could have waited we and have picked have damage, Dread Warlord boss! I did not think that would work out, but it did. Well done, team. Woo! That I'm Thestus cheer is going to be there forever. I know. I noticed. I was actually just noticing that today when we were looking at it. All right. Welcome. Welcome, welcome everybody to Sentinels Live. Uh, James Butler says, James Butler says the title still sells, says this is one deck dungeon. I wonder why that might be. We are going to be playing Sentinels tonight, but we're going to start off with one deck dungeon because it is a special day in the hallowed halls of Handelabra, a day that has only ever come twice before in the history of the company, although actually, I guess. Technically, if we're going to be really specific about it, it has actually come at least four times before. Because in the previous iteration of Handelabra, we did release two games. Bonus, if anybody out there in Chatland can tell me what those two games were. Uh, I will be watching it's the chat. It's also the first time we've released a game to early access. It is the first time we've released a game to early access. But what I'm, of course, talking about is the fact that we launched One Deck Dungeon. Uh, One Deck Dungeon is our third game as Handelabra Games. It's our third digital tabletop game, as it were. Although, <laughs> again, if we're going to get technical, I guess one of our previous games was technically a digital tabletop game, too. So, anyways, let me do my little preamble here. It's Tuesday. It's 7-ish. So, it's time to welcome everyone to Sentinels Live. Thank you for joining us around the digital tabletop while we play... Not only Sentinels of the Multiverse, but some other things, too. The goal of these streams is to have some fun while showing you how to play the game, as well as covering strategies that can help you win. Handelabra does believe in civil rights for all and in being as inclusive as possible, so any comments or activity actively working against that uh, will not be tolerated. So don't do that. If you enjoy the show, please like, share, follow, subscribe, and be sure to check out the other shows here on twitch.tv slash Handelabra Games. we got Dolphins Dive Thursdays at 6 p.m. Eastern. Tales from the Archive is on Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Dolphins Dive is like a deep strategy dive on Sentinels, whereas Tales from the Archive is more of like a storytelling, um, narrative-focused uh, game of Sentinels. Uh, Mark ha handles the first, and Zach handles the second. Uh, quick show notes that I did want to bring everybody up to speed on. Um, I have got some stuff going on. And so this is actually going to be my last episode of Sentinels Live for about a month. But don't worry. We're still going to have the show on Tuesday nights. John will still be here. Um, Zach and Mark are probably going to be helping out. We might even be getting some guest stars to come help out as well. Uh, but basically, I've got some some family stuff I've got to help out with through the month of March, as well as some travel. Uh, I'm going to be at GDC. I'm going to be going all over the place. Um, so unfortunately, you're not going to be able to ask me, what did you do? probably again until April. Uh, I'm deeply sorry. I know that you're all going to be crying yourselves to sleep tonight, but I promise I will be back, and that will be a thing at some point. We'll bring right. in a ringer. We'll bring in a ringer, exactly. Well, you you, you got to find someone who knows the game well enough to play it, but not so good that they really know how, what every single card does. <laughs> Just enough to be dangerous. Just enough to be dangerous. Exactly right. Exactly right. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you, Citizen. Yeah, it's it, there. It, look, I'm not gonna lie. There's definitely some some not great stuff going on. Um, it's some some non life threatening family medical stuff is what's happening. But it is the kind of thing that I need to be available to sort of pick up the slack uh, in the family. So that's what's going on with that. Um, so I do thank you for your thoughts. Um, and I will be back in April. This is not me stepping away forever. It's just me taking care of some business that I got to get going. And I will be back at some point. So obviously they found the presidential boxing. They found Uncle Slam. Um, I don't even think it's available in the app store anymore. So you can't do a search like a stealthy person and try and figure out what the answer to that question. It's not really that much of a game, but... It was definitely a game. There's no question about it that it was a game. And as I mentioned, a digital tabletop game in all technicality. 
All right. Uh, I'm Jeremy. You can follow me, Mr. J Handle, M R J H A N D E L on Twitter. Joining me as always is John, who you can follow at Migrant P, M I G R A N T P. And you can always follow the company at Handelabra on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, etc., etc. Et as we are the developers, you can always be sure to get some insight into the process and maybe see some stuff for anyone else, which you will get to see tonight. It's not going to be Sentinel stuff, but it is stuff for the game that we just launched today. Day. That's right. What game did we just launch today? Uh, Tell me, John. Two. Two. Uh, bags. <laughs> of caves. <laughs> candy. Two bag caves. <laughs> Crush. <laughs> One de- yeah, crush uh, for your play. One Deck Dungeon is what it's called. You can check it out at onedeckdigital.com. You can see it on the screen right now. We're going to play a two-player, well, uh, excuse me, a two-hero yes. game. We are going to play together. We're going to play in together. In the old school Sentinels Live fashion. Yes, where I run everything and John just tells me what to do. What could possibly go wrong? Um, yeah, so... Um, you're going to get to see some of that. Uh, we launched into early access what we consider to be the current stable version of the game. But because the game is under active development, because that's what early access means, there is um, an internal build of stuff that's you know got extra features and new things that we're still working on, but we don't consider to be ready for sort of public consumption. And one of those is two-player mode, uh, which you're going to get to see tonight. Uh, if you're coming to us from the Kickstarter or from One Deck Dungeon, welcome. Uh, we play. We do this every Tuesday night. And by we, I mean the company, because as I just mentioned, I won't be doing it every Tuesday night. But um, there's a show every Tuesday night where we usually play Sentinels, but this is sort of like the Handelabra show. So, like, we've played some Bottom of the Ninth on here, we play Sentinels, and now, obviously, we are playing One Deck Dungeon. All right. Um, Sentinels does include a tutorial that covers the basics, as does One Deck Dungeon. In fact, at some point, we should probably play through it with the tutorial so you can see how that works if you haven't ever played it, um, which is likely since it just came out today. Uh, but depending on how long it takes for us to do uh, to win or lose, we usually play at least a couple games in each two-hour episode. Uh, Sentinels of the Multiverse, Bottom of the Ninth, and One Deck Dungeon are currently available on Steam. And... Bottom of the Ninth and Sentinels are currently available also on iOS and Android. And uh, always all of them are in good old ca- are in analog cardboard and ink. And you can check out sentinelsdigital.com for more info on Sentinels. BOT9digital.com for info on Bottom of the Ninth. And onedeckdigital.com for... One Deck Dungeon has Hager? plastic as well. It does. Yeah, cardboard, ink, and plastic. And wood. When, and I guess Bottom of the Ninth has wood. So yeah, you that's update true. your material list. <laughs> I will update my material list. All right. Uh, if you do own any of our games, we would super love it if you would give us a um, uh, a review. You know, a thumbs up, a thumbs down, a star rating, a review on any of your stores where you have purchased them. Yeah. Uh, that really helps us with visibility, um, especially in these early days of One Deck Dungeon, which just came out mere hours ago, six hours ago. So, um, you know, the more reviews we can get in early access, the more it's going to get sort of surfaced to people who are interested in games like that. And um, the reviews are super, super helpful. So we would really appreciate that. All right. So let's play some One Deck Dungeon. New game. Uh, John, what do you think for a dungeon tonight? Should we just go go easy and for showing off the two heroes? Sure. All right, so we'll, Dragon's Cave. so we'll play the Dragon's Cave, uh, and I'm going to play as the Rogue, because as we were discussing on the live stream earlier, uh, the Rogue is super awesome. Who would you like to play, John? I'll play the Archer that I mentioned. And the Archer. So we've got a Rogue and the Archer. So the cool thing about the way that we've got this set up, and this is another one of those things that John came up with, like there's no toggle switch or button to say, I want to play with two heroes. If you want to play with two heroes... Just select two heroes, and there you go. So we're going to play the Archer and the Rogue at the Dragon's Cave. And what do we want to play? Like, what, what do you think? Standard, Veteran, Novice? Standard's good. Standard's good. All right, so start with one random card as XP. Start game. Sanvar! Sanvar finished it. Sanvar yeah. got us. Thank you for the fatality there, Sanvar. That's, that's someone who knows his Handelabra history. Yes, Expo Bingo. It was originally called Keynote Bingo, and the idea was that it was it was sort of born out of this idea that like when Steve Jobs or someone would go up on stage, it would be like, is he going to mention a new iPhone? Is he going to announce a new version of QuickTime? Is he going to announce a whatever? And you would set up bingo cards um, to do that. Uh, we actually got rejected for the name Keynote Bingo because they thought we were trying to steal the name of their Keynote software, so we actually ended up having to change it to Expo Bingo. Uh, but we released ones for, like, Worldwide Developer Conference. We released ones for um, G, um, not GDC. 
E3. CES. CES. Right, exactly. Yeah, the video game ones as well. The video game ones, yep. All right. So here we are at the Dragon's Cave. We got the Archer up here. We got the Rogue down here. Um, yeah, so a so couple. Take Walker notes zero, zero strength and two player. Uh, the stats are a lot lower because you have uh, two heroes and they mm -hmm. both roll dice. Yeah, so on the tabletop, each of the hero cards, you flip them over to see one player or two player mode and you can see how things are different. The other things that are slightly different are the heroic feats. So you'll notice here that the archer's heroic feat spend two time to roll two heroic dice. Um, on her single player, she can either spend two time to roll two or spend four time to roll three. And then the rogue, she also, again, this one also changes. She gets to roll one. Her single player, she can roll either one or two depending on what she wants to do, and if either one of them is a one, she'll lose some uh, health and time. In this one, she only gets the choice of doing one. Um, let's look at the, uh, actually, yeah, this is new too. Uh, the skill uh, UI, we're changing these a little bit because we're trying to make them a little bit more sort of easily visible uh, at a glance. Glanceable, I guess that's one way to look at it. And the idea here is that we want you to be able to sort of parse what the, what's going on without having to read a lot of small text. So yeah. you can still similar to the Sentinels cards. Exactly. Where the small cards don't show you all the details, but once you get to know the game, you'll you'll get to exactly pretty pretty quickly. You can always mouse over them to see. But one of the things that's interesting about two hero mode is that the powers generally are balanced to sort of work with your partner, whereas obviously in single hero mode they sort of buff yourself. So the rogue here has your partner may reroll any or all of their ones, and the ro uh, the archer has increased one of your partner's strength dice by one. All right, so let's explore and see what we find here. So the archer, the rogue is not the archer's best friend, but they get they get by. So rogue can find a sword to pick up. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, so we got some some time passing, and we have discovered a we have discovered a pit of spikes. So let's see, we can well, either get. We are pretty agile, so we could get um, uh, a single magic. We could get a skill, which is for a strength. You gain a six heroic, but you can only use it to cover a box with um, armor, uh, or we get three XP. Um, yeah, I think we should go for this. What do yep. you think? All right. And, yeah, I think we'll jump over it. Yeah, strength is not our strong point here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and use the rogue's uh, heroic feat and hope that I don't get a one. A five. I'll take that. Do we want to use yours? Or do you yeah, think we're, we're going to be good? We're rolling five dice, so I don't think we need to. All right. So we will skip the heroic feat. All right. So we'll roll the archers two agility first. We got a five and a two. I'll roll the rogues agility. And we've got two, four, and four. All right. Perfect. So I'm going to put my two on the two. And then I'm going to use my hero. Yeah, my heroic five, John's agility five, and one of my fours, and there we go. End encounter. You could let me reroll ones, but I don't have any. Yeah. All right. So the question is, how are we looting this? Armor crush is real good. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll take armor crush. All right, so John is going to take armor crush. So you'll notice when you take a skill in two-player mode, only one of the heroes gets it and so you get to choose who it is mine or mine the archer is going to take it here because that is john's all right i like to go catty corner so we're going to open this other door here okay so we get the rune puzzle which we are not in a super great position to get but i feel like with a heroic we could probably get it pretty easily with the magic yeah the magic it, this is like the easiest uh, thing in the game. Uh, yeah, and so, at the very least, we could take the XP and get us up to level two, which means we'll get to roll a heroic die. Yeah, that's, every a, good time. Idea. that's a good idea. Yeah. Let's do that and do the decipher. All right, so we will and decipher you can go it. For... I will do a daring gamble. And I get a six. I think yeah. we're going to be okay. Now, I don't want to speak too soon because we could roll two ones here. We could roll two ones, but I would let you, you would let me re roll. Oh, so right, yeah. If that happened. Perfect. All right, so we'll put this three and this six, and we'll end the encounter. And I'm going to take the XP here. So you'll see that we, we actually started the game with a four XP 
which is a, a yeah. really great pickup at the beginning of the game. The two XP takes us up to level two, uh, which means that we now get to do all the cool two XP things, which means we can have two items, two skills, uh, and we get an extra potion, and then we get one uh, heroic die for an encounter bonus. So we get to roll one heroic, extra heroic die per encounter. Um, and the coolest part about that is that we, again, get to choose who rolls it, um, which is interesting. So we'll get to that in just a moment. Well, I think we'll just do the same thing here. Yeah, but I agree. We'll take the strength probably when good. we uh, get past it. Yeah. All right, so we will decipher this again. I will once again do my daring gamble just to be on the safe side. I like that. Basically, if you fail the daring gamble, it's just like we just didn't pass the encounter here. Yeah. <laughs> like it's the exact same consequences. All right. So uh, here you we should uh, let me re-roll re -roll this because I can re-roll ones yep. with your ability. All right. So the archer is going to roll this heroic die. So we're going to roll it. And that works out perfectly. She gets a four and a one. I'm going to roll mine, which is another one. So, yeah, that's, I it's mean, technically, really, it's, we still, it's, still, it's still plenty to do this challenge. But yeah, I mean, we could do the challenge right here, but I'm going to go ahead and use my power anyway, just to show you how it works. So John gets to re-roll this uh, heroic, so we'll do that. And he gets a one again, but that's okay, because we have enough to get the job done here. So I can do the four on the two, and then the five and the one to cover up the six. And we will end the encounter. All right, and yeah, I think we'll take the strength and we'll give that to the yeah, rogue probably. The rogue should take it because of the reroll. Yeah. Or the plus one that I can give, so. All right, so let's take a look at this last door. Normally I like to stack the, like normally I would give that to the archer to like have one hero have more of a number, but. Mm. Um, yeah, so it would be very unlikely that I wouldn't enter a room like this. Anything that gives me an item that has not only a die to roll, but also a health, um, I like to take these if, I, if there's any chance at all that I'm going to be able to get through them without taking too much damage. So Yeah, um, we could do the agility, I think. Yeah, I agree. With, with five agility die, and we're still on level one, so we've only got the one extra thing to deal with, I think we're in pretty good shape. Um, do we want to roll any extra heroics here? Because we're going to do five agility die and a heroic die. So we got six dice that are going to roll here. Uh, yeah, we're probably fine. Probably don't need to roll. All right, we'll skip. Why is the cursor so far below the dice? Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know, Take Walker. It might be an issue with the capture software. Yeah, actually, I'm yeah. looking at game show. It is. It does look like the, the cursor is, for some reason, not in the right spot. But... Looks like you might have some frame rate issues too. Yeah, the frame rate is definitely kind of slow. I've, I'm noticing even just playing it here that this frame rate is not super great. Um, we're trying a little something a little bit different this week with the capture because we're trying to actually um, get away from Skype if we can, and it doesn't seem like it's working. Oh yeah, I see. I see on Game Show how the thing doesn't look like it's in the right spot. Um, well, yeah, it looks fine on HipChat, but doing capturing differently i guess yeah that's the thing because because of the way we're playing it we have to have not only game show capturing it but also um hip chat capturing it so john can see what i'm doing and there might be some weirdness happening with that all right so we've covered both of these up we will end the encounter and we'll take maybe this. because we're using a custom cursor we could maybe like have an option to turn off the custom cursor for screen. Mm. uh yeah we should definitely take the health one um, yeah, I guess the question is who should take it? Uh, the rogue should take it because uh, the rogue hurts herself all the time. Right. Yeah, good thinking. <laughs> all right. So let's explore some more. And let's see what we got in front of us. Oh, this guy is crazy. The the undying skeleton here. All right. So, yeah, let's, let's look at this potion. Reroll your ones and twos and then roll a heroic for a potion. Um, it's interesting. I very rarely use a potion for anything other than healing. Um, so I don't know that I would go in for it for this potion, but we could get an extra strength. Visibility which, potion is great. Which one? Visibility. Visibility. Which one is that? It's the one that lets you skip an encounter for two time and oh, for two time, like, get the loot. Yeah, it's great. Like, 
you can take on the really tough one. Like mm. you can take, take on an ogre for two time. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, we, we can take this. I think it'll be difficult with the strength, but we have enough heroic dice that I think will be okay. All right, so I'm definitely going to do my thing. Ooh, a six. I'll take that. Uh, do you want to do yours? Yes. All right. So we'll spend two time to roll two heroics and then discard one of them. I'll and, discard the one. Yeah, I think we'll discard the <laughs> one. That sounds like a plan. And I'll have the archer roll this one because I can boost it if we need to. No, you can't. Oh, did I do that backwards? It doesn't matter. It's that your dungeoneering is only in perils. Oh, it's only in perils. Oh, mm, yeah. See, that's one of those things like I wasn't paying attention to. All right. So we'll roll all these things, and let's see what we got here. Ooh, we got a lot of good dice here. So let's see. Um, yeah, so use my one to activate armor crush. All right. Well, first things first. Let's do the two and our... Yeah, we'll use the armor crush to cover up the four, right? Yeah. Use the one heroic. Oh, the one heroic. Right, right. Okay. Great. Oh, cool. Oh, I, you know, I've not used this power yet, so I didn't. Oh, I didn't realize it had that the colored thing there. So we'll put that over the four. Excellent. Now we've got. Uh, I'm going to put this six over the five with the red. And let's look at what else we've got here. So I've got a five. Cover everything. <laughs> Say again? We rolled really well. Yeah. Just cover everything. We rolled really well. Yeah. So five and six and six. I can six. increase your stat to a six, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. That's I grabbed the wrong die. Yeah, it's a mint chocolate chip. That's exactly what it looks like. Boom. All right. And we will grab that, Mr. Scally. this item, which is strength. Uh, what do you think the archer here? Yeah, I guess uh, yeah, probably the archer because you're probably going to want to take like an agility skill uh, instead of loading up on that. So, but it's good to have another strength like on the team. <laughs> yeah, totally. All right, so we got a wraith, not the wraith. She might be making an appearance later, but this is a, a wraith. All right, ooh, I like, I love this skill. For any value of an agility, gain a six agility, which I love. Um, yeah, especially if you roll a lot of agility. Uh, yeah. Exactly. What items do we have? Can you click on, or you can just enter without discussing it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. So we have two individual s strengths, and then we have the the. Jeremy's not used to playing on a team. I'm not used to out. playing on a team with this. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I'll t I'll lose mine as a result of no. Jumping ahead. God, no. Why did you just do that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to, you heard it here first. Line. The very first, why did you do that of the One Deck Dungeon era? If only <clears throat> we specifically put that item on the rogue previously for a reason. For reasons. All right. Well, look. Whatever care we're carrying on. We're carrying There's on. There's no undo in this game. Yeah. <laughs> not in this one. Yeah, take a shot. Maybe, exactly. Uh, don't click on things without talking to me. How about that? All right. Am I doing your heroic? Yes. Especially now. All right. Would you like to discard the two? Okay. Discard the two. And then who's going to roll this? Uh, yeah, there's no advantage for the rogue, so the archer should roll it. All right, so we're rolling all our things. And then we're rolling all our things. All right, so let's see what we got. Um, OK, so I can cover up the nine armor with just my blues. That's not going to let us cover up the but other one, though. Do that. We should use Armor Crush. Oh, okay. So let's see. So we're going to take your one into the... Oh, come on. Why is it not dragging? There we go. All right. So drag your one to the Armor Crush. Good. Uh, yeah, I think that can go on. 
the magic one because I can put it another, we can put a black five on the other armor box. All right, put that there. And then put the, my magic three. Magic three. On there. All right, oof, man, look at all these red ones. That's nice. It's, it's important to not put your big dice in armor boxes if you can help it. Yeah. Like, not putting that blue five because you might be able to use that blue five for something else like by converting it uh yeah and of course we do have uh we can cover uh yeah by keeping that five uh we can convert yeah you can I would cover up the heart the three heart with that yellow three but we can convert my agility six and your magic five to cover the two hard five. Does it matter who takes it here? No. All right, so we'll put that there. And then, yeah, I mean, we can do this. I don't, there is no way for yeah. us to cover that six, so. Yeah, there, we, there's no way for us to cover that. There was never a way to begin with for us to cover that, so. Well, that's not entirely accurate. If we. Okay, how, how are you going to make that happen? Well, we've got this. Oh, right. That only goes on armor. Ah, see, this is why I never use armor crush because I'm always like, I don't want to be limited about that. All right. So um, I will take this because I have more to lose right now. Agreed? Yep. Sure. Right. And then we'll lose one time. And. I played a practice game before the stream, so get used to playing with two players. <laughs> yes. I played like with two um, players, but not two humans. <laughs> I would take the item, but if you really want that skill, you can have it. Yeah, I guess I'll take the item to replace the one that I mindlessly threw away. Take Walker. I am con convinced of the utility of Armor Crush, though. Yeah, I mean, I like look, I play this game a lot because of testing, and I, I'm trying to make myself not play it optimally and just sort of play all the things Should've mainly for testing. Should the door and see what was in there before descending, by the way. Oh, yeah? Is that a thing? Well, yeah. There was no tokens on the stairs. Why not open the door and see what's inside? Fair enough. If it was something easy, we could beat it and not take any damage and get an extra thing. Good point. Yeah, see, this is, yeah, playing only by myself, these are the things that I don't tend to think about necessarily if I haven't had reason to. Um, yeah, so and, and that's what what John's saying there is like you can take up to you can basically take two time before you take any damage when you're at that final like are you ready to descend because every time you take a time instead it puts sort of one third of a damage on the stairs and once you take the third one one of the heroes has to take damage um, so we could have looked at it without taking damage is what John is saying there and I don't had not thought about that all right so we've got the arrow wall here. Let's look at this potion. All so right. this is a potion where you get to roll three magic, which is cool if you need it, but I don't know that we need it. Yeah, so. I think we could probably do the rush through. I mean, the mana shield's actually really easy in only one time, but we are rolling five mm -hmm. pink. <laughs> so um, I'm fine with that. All right, so we will rush through and we'll roll all the pink. Uh, yeah, so one, we have to cover 11, 17, 19 with five dice. Uh, worth rolling one. Six one dice. Heroic here. All right, I'll roll mine. Ah! Dun, dun, dun. And I take the damage and we take the time. So should we do yours or we just go for it? Uh, yeah, I'll roll mine. Yeah, Salfaria says, this is one of the things I've loved playing this. It requires so many different levels of strategic resource management. I concur. Like, especially with the two-player, which, as I've mentioned, I've only played a few times in testing so far. So there's a lot of things about two-player that I'm just not competent at yet. What were you saying, John? I'll roll it because right. you can let me reroll once. Great. All right, so you get a two, a five, and a six. Nice. All right, good. I'm just going to do this. I cause... can cover the whole thing with just my dice. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to cover it to the exact number. 
by using my little one. I can so. cover it exactly with just my dice. All right, end encounter. All right, uh, so what are we taking here? The item? I'd probably take the item. And, and I've got two. Do you want to take Yeah, we're at limit two, right? So uh can give it to whoever is not the limit. I have equal skills. Oh, God. The ogre. The ogre. So flee? Yeah, we can't beat the ogre. Yeah. I mean, we can beat him, but we might we lose a lot of health. Right. Yeah, and so, like, the ogre, like, that's strength. a... That's a mechanic that I don't think we've shown. We've certainly shown it on the stream before, but I don't know if we've shown it tonight, which is that you don't have to take on any encounter that you come across unless you have four open doors, and then you got to pick one of them. Um, and the ogre is very tough. You need a lot of strength to take, over, take on the ogre. All right, bear traps. With the amount of stuff we have... Yeah, bear traps, like, no problem. Yeah, there's no reason not to go after this. And I think we can probably even just run through them without worrying about time. Unless you think it's uh, easier to just take, just disarm them and hope that it's easy. I mean, if we're going to use a heroic die, then odds are we're going to be spending a bunch of time. So right. either, well, two time for me or a health and three time for you if you're unlucky. Uh, I would just go with disarming them on this one and no, don't roll any heroic. All right. Skip the heroic. And we'll let the archer roll it. All right. Six, one, four. And two, three, six. All right. Do we need to yeah. re-roll? I don't think we need to. Nope, because no. we got a one or a two, a six, and a six. And we'll end the encounter. And we would have made the 11, but just barely. So. Uh, oh, yeah, invisibility. Then we can take on the ogre with the invisibility. Do it. Yeah, all right. Yeah, because we do have three potions. Yeah, and then go to the ogre, and we'll use invisibility potion. It's totally worth it. All right, so and spend two on. time, skip to the claim loot phase. Boom. Um, does it doesn't it ma matter. Who yeah, I was going to say, it doesn't matter yeah. who drinks it here. All right, so I will drink it. And the item limit is reached. Yeah, so who's got a strength that we can replace with a strength and health? That's the important thing. Actually, I guess the archer could take it because she doesn't have an extra health yet. Oh, yeah, good call. I like that idea. So we'll get and I'll replace my... And we'll replace the strength. Uh, so it, with, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so what happened there, again, for those of you who are sort of new to the game, um, because we were at the item limit, our XP says we can have two items or two skills per character, um, we had to burn one of the archer's items. So we burned her only strength item, which then became XP at the level of what was on that card, which was two. And then she then gained that item. So now she has still has two strength, but then she also gained an HP. And we yeah. got to experience. And the skill there, Chaotic Aura, was really good. Like the four XP ones have really good options no matter yeah, what. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, and Cleave is one of my favorite skills. It yes, really increase good. up to four of your dice by one each. This is definitely one of my favorites as well. Um, all, right, all right, do we. Let's, uh, yeah, which logs. one do we want to take, do you think? I don't. Well, yeah, we're like still, I guess. Rolling five dice, it's still against 14 is pretty tough, but... Yeah. We I would six go time. with the dodge logs and we will roll a couple heroic dice, or just one maybe. You could try it if you want. All right, yeah, I'll go for it. I like to take a daring gamble every now and again. Well, it's only a two, but at least that lets us cover up the armor. <laughs> well, the two covers the armor, that's important. Yeah. Uh, then we're rolling five dice against... 20. That. I think, yeah, I think we can skip... All right. We'll probably, we might take the six. Yeah, we'll probably take the one. six, but um, all right, we'll let the archer roll this. And so we'll roll her things. All right, so we got, uh, not bad, not bad. All right, so. Yeah, I can reroll. 
cover that. I don't know if it's net. Yeah, actually, the reroll we might be able to get the. Yeah, we might be able to get a six. So let's let's do that. Come on, Daddy needs a new set of shoes. Oh my God! Come on, <laughs> it literally spun in place and never actually tumbled. Yeah, I need to fix that. Like, I mean, it's still rolling just as randomly, but like, it just decided not to. Yeah. Put a certain spin on it, but uh, it's a random random the force that it applies to it. But it's frustrating when it rolls like. Uh, that's something I want to fix. All right, so we do take one damage. Um, I feel like the archer can take this one because I've already got two. No, give it to the rogue, and then we'll heal the rogue at the start. Oh, oh, right, of course. Yeah, see, this is another one of those things about two-player that I don't really do is I haven't really done a lot of health management yet. And archer should take cleave, I think. Uh, sure. Because archer has more uh, strength dice to use for that. Gotcha. All right, so first things first, we will heal this here. So we'll use one of our potions to heal all of that up from the rogue, and we'll explore. Um, all right, so you see that the there's no tokens, so we're not in danger yet. So click stay on the floor. We get two tokens on, so let's have a look. Yeah, we probably don't want to face a wraith. Yeah, mainly just because even if we don't take any damage, we still have to burn an item. Yeah, exactly. So I would flee, and then we can descend after we flee. Flee and descend. I guess we could use invisibility, but I don't think it's worth it for for that. And actually, we'd take a damage if we used invisibility, because it would spend two time and give us a damage. Ah, yes. All right, so now here we are on the third floor. Third floor. Need more strength for the dragon skin. Oof, yes. All right, so let's see what we get here. The glooping ooze. Uh, this, see, if this one comes up and you have the stairs visible, you flee because spend one, spend time for each one rolled can like kill Oof, you yeah. easily. Uh, I think we can take it though. Uh, and it has a, a health strength, which is nice. We can give that to the rogue. Okay. Uh, I think we should just fight. Yeah. You don't want to do any heroics? No, no. I like uh, yes. Use heroics. Oh, okay. Like, I mean, don't flee. Don't flee. Got it. Okay. Ah, oh, nice. I got a six. All right, we're doing yours. Yes. All right. We don't have enough strength, and we have that armor box to fill. Oof. Good. Dual sixes. That's a good place to start. And we'll let again. We'll let the archer take this heroic. Yeah, because the archer has more to do with it right now. Yeah, the irony is that the game is actually... I'm, I'm literally watching the Twitch stream in a window while I'm also playing it. It's less choppy on the Twitch stream than it is on my actual computer. So I think it's something <laughs> like it's rendering to the frame buffer, and then the frame buffer is going directly out to the streaming software, but not getting to the, to the screen, which is fine with me. I'm, I'm happy with you guys seeing it slightly less um, uh, choppy than I'm seeing it. Right, okay. I can put my magics right on those armors. They fit perfectly. Awesome. All right. Two uh, and three. The one, uh, um, yeah, the one armor, sorry, the one uh, strength can go into armor crush. Ah, yes. Good call. All right, so we'll do that onto that. And I'm trying to think if uh, we might want to do something different. Yeah, is so there like some shenanigans we want to do here. Yeah, I don't. We don't have a. We can just put a four in, but then we wouldn't have because we have cleave. So cleave can do some interesting things. Yeah, like if we if we burn one of these fours and then increased, well, that's yeah, that's not gonna do it. Um, hmm. Yeah, like we could increase this red, and then turn them into heroics. Yeah, let's just put the the. Why don't we put your strength four into that box? And then we can just start putting some other things. So um, we can use a six to cover the six because we only have only sixes will do. Right. Um, 
yeah, I, I, we should be able to get a heroic for a heroic three uh, onto my side, which can then be upgraded, or even potentially heroic four. Um, yeah, we're not going to be able to get a another a heroic six, but we don't need one. You can, I think, I would say, change the six and five into a heroic five. The reds, you mean here? Yeah. Um, and then you can cover one of those magics with it. Uh, I'm thinking of what we can do best with cleave here. Yeah. Um, like if we, if we cleave, I can take these two blues and turn them into a five that can go on that. Then we could actually do like, I can't increase your dice. Oh, is that how that works? Oh, interesting. Yeah, okay. that's why this isn't, like, obvious. <laughs> ah. Uh, but I think, actually, we, we have enough to, to deal with this without worrying about cleave. So turn your... Uh, if you turn your blue fours into a heroic, you can cover a strength. And oh, yeah. you can cover the... Yeah, then just cover that four with the four and the six and the five, and then we'll make a heroic three and yeah. the end. So like, yeah. So basically what I was talking, what I was trying to think about with cleave is often you want to like, if one hero has cleave. Um, That's a bug. What happened there? I tried oh, to- Oh no, it's not a bug. It's not a bug. There are no heroic dice left. Oh, okay, great. Okay, I understand. Yeah, because yeah, this is something I actually haven't come across yet, and that is that that's the reason why this box over here that says general supply is here because that's the total number of dice that actually exist in the world, and yeah, if you like run out of any of them, didn't go away. Which is that is a bug. That is a bug. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and that's why two player is not in early access yet. I mean, that's not a two player thing. That can happen in single player too. Right. Fair enough. All right. So, oh yeah, and this three is just sitting there. All right, so I'm gonna take uh, this. Yeah, that's that's where that die is. I, I saw a bug reported uh, on the beta board about a bug, be, a dice, a die being left on the screen, and that's what's happening. Uh, yeah, I didn't know there. what was causing it. I'm just gonna make a note. Yeah. Do you need me to? want to. Sure. Report the feedback and say uh, we converted it. We converted it. Disc I had to discard a die for heroic conversion, and uh, it didn't. It didn't go away. <laughs> All right. There's only six heroic dice, so it's actually pretty easy to run out of them, even in single player. All right. So we will send. All right. Well, this is sending. It's going to take a second. So this is. Yeah. You don't. You, in early access, you won't see this. This is just for the beta team. Um, this particular beta feedback. But if you do have feedback um, during the early access you can actually there's a there's a button uh to click to, to post um what to the steam forum right yeah yeah uh, there's one there's to email us directly or to take through the steam forum mm -hmm. so and now my wrist starts to buzz because i get one for every single attachment <laughs> <laughs> and there's 40 of them it's just your massage yeah therapy <laughs> Ah uh, yes, I see. Asmadi's games is is watching cl closely to see what happens. Yeah, so this is one of those two player things that. Well, again, John says it's not a two player thing; it's a running out of dice thing. But I have not, I have actually not seen it yet. So, um, in this particular case, it came because we ran out because there were so many. All right, so you can fix this by going back to the main menu and continuing. Right. All right. All right. I don't think we cheated or anything. It just. Let's yeah, no, it. I, it didn't look like anything rules-wise didn't work out. Oof. All right, do oh, we right. want to invisibility so if, this? If we use the invisibility, we don't have any potions left. But we're only one um, XP away from getting another one. That's true. Uh, what, what's the brute force skill there if you want to hover over it and get the details of it? So we've got discard any number of value five dice, gain that many six strength. That'd be really good to have against the ogre. <laughs> <laughs> uh that's interesting that so that that one's that combos really well with um 
it is a chaotic aura that lets you there's a skill that lets you change uh any of your dice to one number right or, or five of your dice so i think it is chaotic or it lets you change them to fives and then you use brute force to change the sixes and it's crazy uh do we have a space for an item can we get that item that's my main concern i guess uh let's see here rogue oh no has Let's two items, items so. and the archer has two items. Yeah, so I could upgrade my magic item, and we would also level up. So. Oh yeah. The question is, do we think we can take the ogre, or should we use invisibility? <laughs> we would definitely be able to cover a lot, but with the, all those dungeon boxes, I don't know. Let's yeah. use invisibility. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Let's do that. Uh, you should have used invisibility. Oh, shoot. Ah! Well, we're fighting the ogre. I clicked the wrong button. Ah, oh, stupid. All right, well. We'll definitely use the rook feats. Yeah, we're in it now. All right, that's a six. That's good. And a three and a three. And we'll let the archer roll it. Yeah, the archer is cleave. Okay, so all right. Well, armor crush. Well, should I should I dungeoneering first, or does it not matter? How can you dungeoneering? Your partner may reroll any or all of their ones. Oh, right. Sorry, it's it's only in apparel. My bad. That's why it's not lit up. Ah, yes. Uh, well, I can increase your strength die, so use that. It's free. And use strength one for armor crush. Put it in the armor box. And I put the, yes. Yeah, so I guess we could use your strength five in there or my, may as well put my strength four in there. Yeah, we do have a lot of actually really good dice here. So like this six yeah. can go here. I have yeah. a red um, six that can go there. You have a red five that can go there and a red four that yeah, can go don't. there. I'm just putting, I'm just organizing. Okay. I'm not actually putting anything in boxes yet. Yeah. I mean well, the four, the pink, go ahead. Put the pink six in. That makes sense. And the pink five. That Actually you should use your pink six on the five. Mm. I can make a heroic dice instead. Right. Um, and so the main, th I wouldn't worry about the four, like I would rather cover more of the Yeah. Cause it's, it's only can. time. So <clears throat> yeah. So, um, I mean, we could do, if we're looking, if that 12, we could do the six, five, and then I can turn these two into a heroic cause there's still two left. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Okay. Cover up the 12. Yeah. Cause the 12 is doing three damage, which is the harshest of the things all right and so licky double see. zero asks how far in progress is one deck dungeon i've been keeping up with it well it came out in early access seven <laughs> hours ago <laughs> so you should check it out this version that we're playing right now with two players is still in testing, so this is not out yet. But uh, the game did launch for single player, single hero mode um, today in early access. So you can actually go get it and play it. Yeah, uh, unless we can cover up the nine and the three, it'll be better to not cover up the 12. Uh, and I don't think mm. we can cover... Uh, no, we can't quite. We can get to eight and three, and that's not quite enough. Um, oh, with Cleave, yeah, with the three, and then, oh, yeah, okay, with Cleave, we can do it. Okay, so put the three on the three. That's fine. And make two heroic fours. Wait, don't use Cleave, or yes, use Cleave? It doesn't matter, but just make two heroic fours, then you'll. You have to make heroic dice anyways. 
So oh, there's too few black dice left. Oh, that sucks. Oh, there won't be because of cleave. Yeah, if I, as I'm saying, uh, is if I cleave and bring those up, then I'll get a five and a five. I'll get two does, fives. It doesn't matter. Just use cleave, sure. It's better to, generally to use cleave after converting because you have fewer, you have more dice you can increase. But in this case, it won't, doesn't super matter. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because with the math, it would have been... I see. Yeah, okay. then you're only, like, they're only increasing two dice instead of four, and maybe you had some other die that you wanted to increase. I gotcha, I gotcha. All right, so all, all told, we're only taking one and one, so that's actually not terrible. Better than I was expecting. Yep, that's great. All right, who's going to take this? Probably the rogue, because uh, she's got Archer. five versus the four. Archer is going to have five in a second, so you can give it to the Archer. All right. And we'll take the item and give it to the archer. Right. So so she gets the boost to that, and then we also leveled up. Although... Yeah, so we can take another item and skill now. I don't think... I think there might be a visual glitch there. We should have one overflow of XP, because didn't we only have one left? That's not how it works. It use as many cards as you can to reach the level. Oh, and then that's it? Okay, got it. Uh, sometimes there is a card left over if the math works out, but... Ah, oh, I see. Greet icons. They are attached to cards. All right, so we've got a cave-in. We can dismantle it with strength, or we can climb over it with agility. We could potentially get another magic. We could get a skill. We can get crushing blow, which is, I love crushing blow, especially given our current strength situation. Uh, or two XP. What are we thinking? Uh... Yeah, I mean, we can we have a space for an item too, but uh, getting another skill is good. Um, which do we think we would do the dismantle it or climb over it? The danger here is the armor boxes. If we don't roll a five, we're mm. it's bad. Uh, at this point, I might just go with dismantle it and spend a lot of time. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I guess it's, yeah, we have five. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh, we have five strengths, and then we could probably roll the book before deciding to roll the archers. How about that? <laughs> uh, I would probably go with, I don't know. I don't right. know whether to pick this man. We have two call. extra dice. Yeah, we have two extra dice. So, okay, whatever. Roll the rogues. We'll see what we get. All right. All right. Well, well I can cover one of the armor boxes. Two. Rolling yours. Yeah, roll mine. We are only rolling three dice. So, well, I guess we have a we have an encounter bonus too. But all right, and a four. We still don't have a five. Still don't have a five. All right, so we'll let the archer roll it. All right, hey, well, we got a five. Nice. We got oh, two fives. Now, we don't have a six, but that's okay. It's just one health. Yeah. We'll, be, we'll just take one health. Right All now. right, so we'll put the two here, and we can put a five here, and we'll do this. Yeah, there's no way to get that. S nope, that's only in, in uh, encounters. All right, yep. All right. Um, yeah, I'll take it so that we're even. Uh, oh, one deck dungeon doesn't appear to be talk to stream friendly. Yeah, sorry, folks. Um, I, I'm not engaging with the stream as much as I should be, and I apologize for that. Um, I, like I said, I have not played a two-player game outside of testing before now, and so um, yeah. I'm I guess, Licky, do you have any specific questions? I'm not really sure what you're asking. I don't know what Dice Solitaire is, and I can't really answer that. <laughs> it's a dungeon-crawling roguelike game with cards and dice. Uh, cool. So what do we have here? We have Crushing Blow, which is good against... 
Yeah, and I don't think can the archer even take it. I don't think the archer can take it. Oh no, because that's her starting skill. So the archer yeah. could take it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, if we're taking a strength skill, the archer should take it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just kind of like it looks very one-sided here, but sometimes you just do what you got to do. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Sure. All right. Put it on the archer. Ugh, this guy. Um, all right, so if we flee, we're not going to, like, do another door because we won't have enough time left. But I don't think we want to, like, enter and lose an item. I don't, yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, so I think we should. We, we could invisibility if there's something there that we want. Oh, that's true. We do have two potions. More than a healing potion. Yeah, let's see. So uh, we could so get. Haste is pretty good. Yeah, this is actually probably a good point to like pop open the, dra the the dungeon and flip it over and look at what we have to deal with with the dragon. So we've got a 5, a 5, a 6 in agility, a 16 and a 6 in magic, and a 17 and a 6 in strength. Yeah, we're rolling lots of agility, so I don't know if we really need this skill to let's just roll more. Yeah, especially to burn a magic. Uh, we could do we have we have space for do we have space for an item that we could add? another another strength yeah, we can, I, yeah, yeah i think so i have space for an item and so does the archer too so we could because having the strength on the dragon is pretty tough so i don't know if it's worth a potion but uh, let's do it you only live once indeed and it doesn't matter who drinks it right yeah all right, so we're taking the item for the archer. Double check, double check how many items she has. She has two, and we can take up to three. Okay. Yeah, I would give it to the archer because... I'll, I mean, the rogue is good because I can increase one of them by one, but I think the archer has more strength. Has more, yeah, she has more, more ability yeah. to do stuff with it, with all of her skills. All right. All right, so now let's just ascend because there's no more doors left anyways. We all right, dragon... Uh, All right, and once again, the archer's doing everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I'm happy to play pickup here. <laughs> all right, roll all the things. That was not great. Wow, not too many ones. Oof, yeah. Yeah, oh, this is super extra tough, and I don't like it at all. All right, well, I can increase your four to, or three to a four. May as well use my free skill. Combined shot. Um, all right. We have to put that on, a, on the five. Yeah. And we have to use armor crush. So put a strength two into armor crush. And... So at least we can do something. Can we get any of those four heart boxes? <laughs> I guess we can probably get the magic one. We might be able to get we might be able to get the strength one too. Um, yeah, because this is what is a six, eleven, fourteen, fifteen, fourteen, yeah. and then. I mean, I guess. What are we thinking? Like pull these two ones into a heroic one? Well, let's not make any decisions yet. Yeah. I mean, because we could also just do the, this two like that, and then we're 16. I also have cleave. Oh, right. Uh, which is really handy for making up extra points. Um, I'm not sure if we'll be able to cover the big heart boxes and also get a six box. Uh, it's possible, though, if we have a little bit uh, left. So, do you remember which dice are mine before you started moving them around? Mm, maybe. Just move them off of there so that we can... Actually, I think the six was mine and the five was yours. Well, we each have two. Maybe that's, maybe that's what it was. <laughs> uh, it'll... 
pop up when we when I use cleave. Right. Uh, so for strength, we have 12 right now, and I can get a six. Um, so I think, I mean, I think the best option for cleave is just to increase, um, well, probably is to use, is to make a heroic one and use that for cleave. So uh, we don't need the pink ones. So put those in and give it to me. Nope. Never. And so, and put it on cleave. So we needed one more point on magic. So increase uh, that one. Where's why do you? How do you have three magic dice? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, Is it because right, where well, I dragged increase, it? I, no, that shouldn't matter. Whatever. Well, increase uh, the heroic and the two. Um, strengths, I guess. I don't know. Sure. Then we should be able to fill the magic box. Yes, yeah, Citizen says a slightly different dice texture for each character would be a really nice touch. Yeah, so that is... We, we are yeah, actively on. looking at ways to make that clearer in a UI perspective. That's why this is in development. Yeah, exactly. That's why this is not out yet. All right, so, so what is... I've filled the magic. But we have it exactly. And we can also, yeah, so let's fill up the strength 17 with black and yellow. And let's, uh, now we can convert those two threes into a heroic for the archer, which can then get a six and do one point of damage to the dragon for two against us, which is not so bad. We rolled pretty badly. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. All right. Not bad. We still each have three left and a potion, so... Yep. Yeah. All right, so all right. Let Archer roll this. Roll all fixes and roll over the dragon. <laughs> I see a lot of ones. Or just roll all ones. That's why you have skills. Hey, you rolled well. All right, so. All right, so take that one and make an armor crush. And, yeah, you'll need to put that six in the armor crush. Actually, you don't necessarily need to. We might be able to do something different with that six. Yeah, at least cover one of those with the armor crush. Right. Because I could potentially use my heroic five on that five, right? Depending on mm. what we have. Because we have a lot of magic. So we can easily cover the magic. Um, and we might be able to cover... Yeah, we should be able to cover the big strength, too with all of our strength and with um, a little hook, the heroic help, we can easily do it. And I mean, obviously with Cleave, we can use the combined shot to make your five or six. The archer skill. Yep. Um, yeah, so I think we can potentially uh, do this. I don't know where you're moving things around. I'm just trying to think ahead I understand of understand your logic. Are. I'm trying to keep I'm trying to keep <laughs> them in their own spots for now, but like someplace where I can see where I might use them. Right. Uh, so if I use cleave, actually I may as well uh, convert those two ones that I have into a heroic die. There's they have no other purpose. Yeah. And then that'll be what you use for cleave probably. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to think. Clo Cho, the best seeker, says you can't use armor crush versus the dragon. Yes, you can. I'm not sure why you say I can't. 
Gain a heroic six. You can only use it to cover a box with armor. You can't place heroic dice on uh, skull boxes. So actually, yeah, that's okay. Though. Yeah, We're actually, so let's look that. at the iconography here. So you'll notice that, like, here it does say armor crush is used in combat encounters, but you'll notice it does not have the X over the no, skull. No, I think Cho, the best seeker, is confused about the dragon's ability. Oh, oh, oh. Cho on the boxes there. Gotcha. Uh, so anyway, so let's cleave. Uh, and I just wanted to see what we need to do. So... Yeah, I guess there's only four dice that I can leastfully cleave unless we convert it. So may as well just but there's no point to cleaving the to cleaving that, but fine. Uh I guess there might be. So okay, so let's fill up um all right, what was this what were we saying? Right, so yeah, there's just we're kind of wasting stuff a little bit, but that's fine. Yeah. Uh, so let's put the six heroic into the armor box and then the six agility in and see what we can do. Because I think we can uh, make it happen here. Uh, we can fill up, just start filling up the big boxes, and but don't use the sixes if you can and see if we can, how far we get. Yeah, like see, we get to 15 on that. Oh, Let's see, yeah, so you can turn those threes, turn those threes into a heroic die. And, oh, but you can't give it to me. Now I did that wrong. Oh, but you can, yeah, you can put that on to Yeah, the, put that there. That's fine. That's like just that. as good. And then the six, yeah, that's just as good. Yeah, so we're only taking that's one, good. but we're dealing two to the dragon. Yeah. And does it matter who takes this here, do you think? Uh, it doesn't matter who, whoever's going to take it we'll get a healing potion so oh right. right yeah you're doing more so i feel like you should take the potion so it we'll really have... doesn't matter at all <laughs> no i understand i'm just saying like you know to we don't want to burn a potion to heal something that hasn't already been dealt damage so let's... but it, yeah i'm just telling you it doesn't matter there's no way it can matter who, oh who... is there so there's well yeah because i can do the healing now right to heal your three Versus yes, the two. Do that now. Right. I'm saying who takes it doesn't matter. Sure. Except that, like, wait, so actually, this is something I have not, I have not actually ever gotten to a boss with two hero. If one hero gets killed, is it over? Or can the other one? Yes. Oh, I see. If one, that's why it doesn't matter. Gotcha. All right. Roll good. All right. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Could have been worse. Could have been better. Uh, better than last time. Yeah. Oof, that's a lot of ones. Hey, good. Uh, all right, so we have two fives. That's interesting. Uh, we could, we could armor crush is still really good to use, but we don't have to use it. And there's mm. actually, we may as well not use armor crush, I guess, because you're not going to do anything with those fives. I guess those fives could become, in theory, they could become a heroic die, but we actually would need one more so throw those on the armor and use combined shot also yeah you you rolled really badly i know <laughs> uh okay yeah you really rolled really badly <laughs> all right we get it <laughs> uh well, we can probably cover, we have to decide we cover one of the big boxes and then uh, uh, hit the other, try to get a six. So yeah, we can easily cover the 17. That's no problem. We can potentially, we can potentially cover both one of them and get the, the two sixes though. That's what I'm looking at. So if we put, just throw my six and your six onto their six box. Thanks, Cho, the best seeker. All right, sorry, what now? Throw the sixes onto the six boxes and we'll see what we can do. See what we've got left? All right. Uh, yeah, so and even if, if we, yeah, we have uh, seven, ten, six health 12. that we could potentially lose. Um, so I guess five. If we take five damage, we die. 
or if we take more than five damage, we die. Mm. So I think we just need to cover one of those boxes and we live. Um, and with cleave, uh, I think we can, so take one of my ones and one of your ones and make a heroic die and give it to me. Uh, and then use it to do cleave. So what do we have right now for strength? We have uh, 10. Yeah. So we can get that to 13. Uh, oh, yeah. So, yeah, we can use it to just the, the bottom four there, increase them all. And put them all in the strength box. And I think, oh, John is having connectivity issues. Uh-oh. But he's he's left me dealing with the dragon at this at my moment of need. Oh, no. All right, hang on. We might have to add John back in. Yes, John disconnected. All right, hang on, John. I'm coming. Answer. All right, you back? Yay. All right, let me share my screen to you. Yeah, I forgot we had crushing blow, but I don't think it would make any difference in the end. We just didn't have any, there's We weren't even close on the... On the magic so then just make another heroic die and put it in the box all right give me a second here i'm trying to like get you reconnected in the stream too so hang on one second here okay let's uh window configure hit chat video okay and then of course it scales down to zero for some ungodly reason and i guess in theory we could have potentially um been able to cover the magic if we had done a different way. We might actually we might still be able to if we make. Uh, yeah, if we have we have five magic, and we could. No, I don't think there's any. There's well, yeah. If you put the six in there, how much do we need? Then we need five. And Which we wouldn't be able to get. Them. Yeah, we, I think oh, we oh, probably I see. might have been able. Uh, so far, you said you could have armor crush, then cleave to five to a pink six. six. No, because Jeremy had uh, the fives. Uh, I think we would be short because you get there to eleven. Uh, we could move that black up, but it would just be at fourteen. It wouldn't be enough. So, yeah, let's just. Uh, Make a hero I can put it in the in the yellow box. Wait, what? Oh, Make I see. I see. I yeah, yeah, yeah. In no. the yellow box. I get it. All right. And uh, the archer needs to take the extra over those. Right. All right, we got one. All right. We got no potions we left. We can take one hit. Yeah. So let's roll real good and win the game <laughs> without taking two hits. Pretty close. Oh. Yeah. So I don't, many ones. Uh, yeah, I don't know that we're going to do it. <laughs> oh, it, if you don't roll ones, it's okay. All right, well. Uh, increase your, you may as well use the combined shot first. Uh, all yeah, right, this game so, is so boring, you just roll your best dice. Come on. So make a, make a armor crutch and put that in and then put the sixes in, the pink ones. All 
All right, so wait, so armor crush here. Yep. And then and this the X6 here. is on the other spot, so they can go. And then here. Okay. Yeah, and now we don't have any other sixes. <laughs> We're just gonna lose. There's no. I mean, okay, I can goose crushing blow to get a, another six. Sure. We'll put it in. We'll imagine that we would win. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's see. Imagine, let's imagine what it might be like in a world where we beat the dragon tonight. Uh, well, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Well, put your. It's possible. It's not possible. Put your put your blues in to the hole. There's nowhere else they can go. Put them in there. Come on. There into we go. the blue hole. Uh, put my four, my blue four in there. Um, I was trying to think what's the best way to make that up. So I can, I still have cleave accessible. So <laughs> this game is so boring. You literally make zero decisions. <laughs> well, yes. put your put your yellow three in there. In the seventeen, there's nowhere else it's gonna go. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, I will say during testing, one of the things, even in even in single hero mode, like I spent at least 15 minutes at one point agonizing over one turn because I had like a really interesting combination of powers and it was like, all right, if I deal this here, but wait, but what if I use my power to increase this there? Like, yeah, there's a lot to do. It's a very cerebral game and I love it. All right, well, let's do the best we can. So use my one and your one to give me a black one. And the same thing with the three and four. I think that's going to be the best we can do. So I could, uh, if yeah, I so spend, I can spend the one to cleave all of those and get a higher number in total. Yeah. Um, so I'll do that. And put them all in the yellow box. Yep. And then we almost filled. It didn't like it wouldn't matter even if we, you know, put them all in the blue box. We would still die. So, yeah. Uh, and there it is. Let's all take the extra. Boom. <laughs> dead and dead. Defeat. We were unable. Um, to complete the dungeon. All right, Whew. we know what the we know what the turning point is. What did you just do? What did you just do? <laughs> yes, we know the turning point. I shouldn't have pushed the, that one button that I pushed, but that's a thing that I am want to do. All right. I think we did pretty well. I agree, and I think that for a first game of oh wait no don't do that for that's first true. that's this is the first time we played it together. That's so. true. <laughs> All right, so let's and probably launch like the this. second or third time you played two hero. All right, so I can. Uh, take room. Walker. If either hero is killed, you lose. Right? That is correct. And as others have noted, the boss hits first, so yes. even if you cover up the skulls, you can still lose. Yeah, that is not a thing I enjoy. <laughs> I don't like the boss hitting first. Well, a turn. So there you go, playing. At least our first game of One Deck Dungeon was an hour about. Oh, Sentinels uh, is crashing. Accounting for the intro and all that stuff. I'm sure that would speed up as we got more familiar with playing over Skype. And maybe someday it will have multiplayer, but not today. Ugh, why is it doing that? That's not a thing that I wanted to do. All right, I guess I can do this. Ooh, and actually, no, the heroes aren't being killed in any case. That's not what not not what is happening in the game. They are just. You can being... stop sharing your screen. To, yeah, to that's me. yeah, that's fine. I can do that. Uh... And I will open Sentinels. I don't think yeah, I can we're... turn off video though, or can I? Oh yeah, there we go. Turn off video. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, but the story of the storyline of basically what's happening is if you lose, your heroes just decide like. Uh, that's enough, and we're just going home and not fighting this dungeon anymore. <laughs> so they don't die, they escape. 
Yeah, they escape to fight another day. All right, can you yeah. folks hear the music from Sentinels? Let me know that that is running properly, and then we can get going on a multiplayer game. For those of you who don't care at all about One Deck Dungeon and just came for the Sentinels, we appreciate you sticking with us until this point. Oh, man. Something happened with John's video. It is not looking what good. Happened? Oh, what do I okay. Look like? And you're back. <laughs> you turned into, like, I don't know, like a neuro Robot. neuromancer storm of craziness. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Hip chat, accidental video filters. Yes, exactly. Yeah, John is having a snow attack, but he's back now. It's all good. All right. No um, crash. What was what was the um, what was the letters page today? I haven't checked it. Uh, Iron Legacy. Oh, so, okay. Interesting. Ugh. We got another rare comic title uh, this week. Exordium. Exordium number three. I'm not sure. Uh, Exordium, how many issues of that are there? Yeah, there's only nine. So that's nine out of like, there's like thousands. Mm -hmm. If you count like Raw God of the Sun, there's like 300 of those and so on. The best book is like four. All right, Iron Legacy. Let's do Iron Legacy. Do you want to start on easy and go up harder or start on harder and go down? Uh... Yes. Like, let's play them on standard, advanced, challenge, and ultimate, if we have time. <laughs> okay, great. I'm on board. Let's do it. Okay. Same team uh, every time? Oh. I don't know, but that... I think we should stick but with... Here's, can... here's what I think we should do. Iron Legacy, but we should pick only Freedom 6 characters. Obviously, it'll only be four of them out of the six, and we can change the environment each time. All right. That's what I say we should do. If you want to win, I would do something else, but we don't <laughs> necessarily have to plan to win. <laughs> I just think it would be fun. It would be a fun thematic kind of thing to do. All right. All right. And I think we'll start with, I mean... Freedom 6 Legacy. <laughs> we are fighting Freedom 6 Legacy. Yes. After all. So I will take Team Leader Tachyon. Well, if you're doing that, then you go first. Okay. Golem Unity is Freedom 6, right? Yes. Golem Spawn? Yeah. Okay. Great. And then Environments. Um, yeah, let's stick with something that's sort of core game adjacent, and we'll do Omnitron 4. What? Omnitron 4? Yes. I have spoken. All right. All right. Iron Legacy versus Freedom 6, folks. We got uh, Unity, Bunker, Tachyon, Absolute Zero. You call yourself a leader. Can you slow down enough to see your own impending loss? You're the one who can't see the obvious right in front of him. Enough, Legacy. Guess we'll have all the Nemesis dialogue. That's good, too. Oh, have we tried using Discord for video share? I don't think we have, actually. Maybe we'll look into that next week. And by we, I mean everybody other than me. <laughs> well, I mean, that, we only needed that for One Deck Dungeon. That's, that's true. Sentinel, so. Right. Yes, the agents of stream will be handling it. All right. T Tachyon opens with a hypersonic assault. Uh, pushing the limits, research grant, supersonic response. Man, doing it full screen. I, does it look okay to you folks out in Streamland? Because it's like super blurry for me. So I don't know. Flat cannon, Gatling gun, Omni cannon, recharge mode. Uh, Unity has got a cryobot, flash forge, platform bot, raptor bot, and uh, absolute zero. Ooh, excuse me. A couple of fueled freezes, a glacial structure, oh, and focused apertures. All right. Goodbye, ongoing card. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I wonder if I'm having the same issue where, like, because I'm doing full screen, it's, like, rendering out to the frame buffer and doing better for the stream than it is for me here. They say a little blurry, but not bad. Except right. Galvanized is indestructible. And there's two of them. 
So that's awesome. Superhuman redirection. Oh, and vigilance. Well, if you want, you could play hypersonic assault first. Now we don't need to be. Oh, yeah, man, that's so fine. Much damage. And Absolute Zero can take out all three of those ongoings with one card play, so. All right, so we get a Sucker Punch, Recharge Mode, Flash Forge, and Cold Snap. Oh, Licky Double Zero says, yeah, I believe it was Stream 4 when I last showed up and I was still Knight of the Frozen Lance. You might have mentioned this earlier in the chat, but now that I've seen that name, Knight of the Frozen Lance, now I do know who you are. You probably did mention it earlier, and I was too focused on trying to, like, make the one-deck dungeon thing happen, so I apologize if I didn't see it earlier. All right. I wonder if Omni Cannon will work. I've never tried, like, saving up for Omni Cannon with Iron Legacy because, like, you just die before. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it gets to work, but yeah, I think Slack Cannon's gonna be my first bet here. And yes, thanks, Hypersonic Assault. And Absolute Zero is gonna take care of the ongoings. He's gonna heal, but I'd rather hold onto those cards. Several times. I missed them all. All right. Um, yeah, I feel like I have a lot of golems, or not a, not a lot of golems, a lot of bots. I don't know that I. Let's see, we got a cryobot platform and raptor. Uh, Could dig through a construction pylon. I know. Like I like I'm trying to look at this. Like I don't know that I'm going to use cryobot. And maybe not even Raptor Pot, honestly. Ugh. Yeah, we'll do this. And I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna discard Cryobot. I mean you could discard Flash Forge. Yeah, and the other Flash Forge. I guess the question is, do I want to get rid of that Raptor Bot? Because like, I feel like the Raptor Bot is not going to stick around for long enough in most cases anyway. But like, does most Iron Legacy... Those, most bots are not going to stick around very long. Yeah. Iron Legacy, they couldn't this turn if you do put one out because... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Platform hand. Bot this turn. Because that'll do... Let's see. One target, three energy damage, where X equals the number of mechanical golems in play. Plus, yeah, it's gonna be, yeah, that's fine. We'll do this. Come on, discard that. All right. What? Ah, come on, do the thing. All right, there we go. And then stop. All right, so. V-Bot's always useful, too. Yeah. So we do have, a, we do a lot of ongoing destruction happening right now, so it might not be that useful. I guess the question is, so what, what am I doing? Three? I think so. Yeah, so that and... Two. I guess Take Walker says the cursor is still happening with Sentinels as well. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Sorry. Sentinels also is a custom cursor, so... Yep. All right, time to get rid of all of those things. No, you will not vigilance. Yeah, 
And I didn't even need the damage, but we'll take it. Get him right near his flip point, but not. I guess I, I could have used Omni Cannon to do a bigger shot of damage this turn coming up, but well. Maybe I'll get a one shot. Oh, look. No damage from Iron Legacy. So discard two or destroy one. Destroy, so um, yeah, I'm not gonna use Sucker Punch. Does he have this turn at least? He's probably gonna want to. You're probably gonna want to play. I would probably discard Research Grant, even though you want to. Yeah, this, like lightning speed. Is too I good. know. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was just looking at. I was like, oh man, if there's a way to use Research Grant, that'd be great. But I don't think there's a way. You could destroy conveyor panels. It's going to cause extra environment plays. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, maybe I will get Omni Cannon in for next turn. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually gonna destroy a platform bot here. This is not a game for healing. Okay, so yeah, I mean, hitting Iron Legacy is not necessarily a bad call. We can get him to be lower than any of us. That's pretty good. So yeah, this turn. Oh, especially since you destroyed your bot. I did destroy my bot. So what you're saying is I should supersonic response against Iron Legacy here? Well, I was no, I was saying if we would be able to get him to like kill him this turn, then that would have been good. But I don't because when he flips, he uh, yeah, actually when he flips, he has damage reduction, and then but he only attacks the hero with the target with the lowest. So you can put out like a bot, and he'll attack the bot instead of us. Just <laughs> nice. Yeah, I got some. I got some some ideas. Research grants and epic interruption. Interesting. Go oh, turret mode. Iron legacy is exciting no matter what. Let's go omni cannon, and maybe I'll get to use it next turn. So tonight I'm drinking a Knob Creek Straight Rye Whiskey small batch. Cool. I've been expanding my horizons beyond pure, just regular scotch whiskey. Trying some ryes, trying some bourbons, trying some interesting things. Yeah, so this is, I was thinking of construction piloting and then B-Bot and Stealth Bot. That was sort of my thoughts here. But I guess I Yeah, could. if you had kept your damage bots, we probably would be winning this turn. But you discarded them. I did. Who, who even are you? <laughs> All right. I've been playing too much uh, Slay the Spire and One Deck Dungeon. Yeah, so that's my... very defense oriented. Slay the Spire, especially. Yeah. Yeah, I've been actually. It's 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 funny too. I was actually just thinking about that yesterday, last night when I was playing. Like, I much prefer the silent on Slay the Spire, which is a very defense heavy character. Like, the goal there is you can to play like the other character the same way. 
You yeah, you can. I usually when I play as what is it, the Ironclad? I usually play the Ironclad as like a super like blast everything deck, and I play uh, the Silent as like a poison defense deck. So you people would be like, "Who is this person? I don't even know who you are." <laughs> and I much prefer the Silent to the Ironclad. Yeah, I do better with the Ironclad with uh, defense based deck as well. Hmm. You should try it. Oh yeah, I bounce back and forth Especially between body them. Body slam, which is incredible. Yes. Yeah, body slam is good. Um, my favorite to do is get noxious fumes. I actually I had a slay the spire run, and I apologize for those of you out there who have not played slay the spire, who have no idea what we're talking about. It's a really fun deck building roguelike um, that was actually brought to my attention by Chris from Ismati um, because it is a roguelike similar to how one deck dungeon is, and it is. So I had a run where I got three Noxious Fumes, and then I basically just stacked a bunch of blockers. And so I actually got the achievement where I had 100 um, block happening in a turn, because I would basically just poison the enemies, super block, and I turned into, like, Ultra Poison Turtle. It was very fun. <laughs> you don't have the achievement where you have 999 blocks? No. I, yeah, I then looked at that and was like, oh, I, I guess there's an even bigger achievement. I have not gotten that one yet. But. With the iron, the ironclad has a card to double your block. Yes. And a card where your block doesn't expire between turns. Yes, so I yes, I I know that that can make it happen with the ironclad. I think easier than the silent. <laughs> the silent has cards that that does that. It's um, what's the name of the card? I can't remember. It has blur. Yes, blur. So you blur. can do it with the, with the silent. I'm saying it's easier with the ironclad. Interesting. I'll have to look into that. Uh, is stealthbot gonna save? someone from this um i mean you tell me if if, if i save someone I mean, is that the it's right gonna choice be seven seven it's going to be seven damage to a hero or take out stealth bot i'm happy to sacrifice stealth bot but just tell me which one is the better choice sacrifice stealth bot for whom bunker it doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. I see what you're saying. This is not more than one. All right, that's fine. So, okay. The question is, do you want to redirect to stealth bot? And someone has to discard four cards. That sucks. Uh, probably not Tachyon. She's doing too many good stuff. Yeah. Uh, probably absolute zero because. Uh, well, I mean, even Bunker doesn't have anything to do on his turn, and maybe he'll draw something better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was gonna say Unity even like anyone other Unity than Tachyon. Is an option. Oh, Unity's not an option. Unity's oh. an option. Oh, I see. Uh, let's choose Bunker because he'll get to draw a couple from Tachyon. So. All right. And. And he does really just doesn't have anything to do in his turn, so with what he has. Alright, I'm assuming I'm getting rid of these mechanic accumulators, yeah? No, hit Iron Legacy. We are Right, hit Iron Legacy, but like get rid of one of the mechanic accumulators because I can't kill the galvanizes, right? Yes, yes. All right, can we take him down? 15. All right, if I hit myself with this. I will definitely, yes, I will hit myself with this. And then probably, I mean, I feel like Fleet of Foot is kind of a no-brainer, but then. Yeah, and then see what you get. Yeah. All right, another pushing the limit, so that's a map. Okay, a grenade launcher, Raptor bot, oh, grenade launcher. focused apertures. Um. Yeah, I mean, synaptic interruption is good for redirecting. Yeah, that's that was my first thought. Stuff. I'm just looking at the other options. Yeah, I think I don't see that there's a better option than that.
and you could take out that accumulator if you want. Yeah. It's okay. destroying bunker stuff, which is really annoying. And absolute zeros, I guess, but he hasn't played anything yet. Right, so accelerated assault, upgrade mode, supply crate, and modular realignment. Sonic Vortex. Just need tech and it'll take more turns. See if we can get ahead of his healing here before he kills us. At least you have a way to play bots without killing yourself. Yes. Yeah, and I don't think there's a better choice than that. So we'll do that. Maybe we'll use it. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any way I'm going to use this, so I'll discard that. He's only got 11 HP. This will be no problem. <laughs> this game is so easy. All right. He is going to be too lower than before his turn. <laughs> so we're making progress. And he's just attacking the bots. Unless he... Play some one shots to kill us all, which is what he does. Oh, hey, free stuff from the environment. Except it's going to get destroyed by this stupid thing. Ugh. Well, I have a grenade launcher in my hand, so we can destroy that. All right. Stupid mechanic accumulator. Iron Fist Strike. Uh, pick Bunker. He's being less useful. Okay. Destroy two hero ongoing cards. Uh. I'm probably going to vote for Tachyons because, well, I don't know. Cold Snap is doing good work here, so. Yeah, that's fine. And Iron, Iron Legacy isn't attacking Tachyon to yep. this turn. So. That's fine. And Raptor Bot, the bots are, like, definitely helping because Iron Legacy would be taking out our heroes otherwise mm -hmm. all right um what is this let's see i have five bursts in my trash i mean i feel like pushing the limit sonic vortex yep draw extra is my choice here that is what i would do and maybe take out that accumulator. Oh, I can't take it out completely, but... Or you can, can hit I? it in the absolute zero. Yeah, hit it in absolute yeah, zero. Okay. Kill it. <clears throat> we don't need redirection. No. All right. And let's see I what think we, we should win this turn. Sucker punch. External combustion. Hasty augmentation. And isothermic. Interesting. All right. Ooh, and there's my Lightspeed Barrage. He 
Yeah, so if I do three damage and Unity can do... Oh, Hasty Augmentation. That's real good. Yep. Uh, you can let Absolute Zero do like five or six damage. Yeah, okay. We will win now. Actually, you probably don't even have to do that. I think Absolute Zero can take it from here. <laughs> so don't haste the augmentation? No, I mean, it doesn't matter what you do in your turn. Absolute Zero will be doing uh, two from Cold Snap, and then three from his base power, and a bunch more from Frostbound Drain or whatever. So do what you like. All right, pick a power, absolute zero. You just want a platform, platform bot to finish the game. Yep. I'm gonna snake it from absolute zero. What? Not today, Iron Legacy. All right, that was regular. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do all four of them. So I feel like we just go to ultimate here, and then that's going to Go right to ultimate? Yeah. All right. All right, so villains, uh, Iron Legacy, ultimate. All right, so yeah, let's pick some different ones. Um, I did Tachyon last turn, so I will do Freedom 6 Bunker this turn. take Tempest. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll take Tempest. All right, and then what do you think? Freedom Tower? That feels sure. thematic. What could possibly go wrong? It's a good, good place to lose. <laughs> You've turned to darkness, the Wraith, or should I call you the Chairwoman now? Check out uh, the letters page for more information on that. Keep your pithy titles for your iron rule, Parsons. Your time has come. All right, so we've got a grappling hook, two infrared eyepieces, and a... It's so blurry, I can't even read that. Micro-targeting computer. Like, I knew what it was. It was on the tip of my tongue, but I couldn't quite get it. Uh, then we've got an auxil two auxiliary power sources, grenade launcher, upgrade mode. Uh, Tachyon's got Blinding Speed, Sonic Vortex, Sucker Punch, and Synaptic Interruption. And Tempest has got Ball Lightning, Cleansing Downpour, Into the Stratosphere, and Vicious Cyclone. I'm sure remember what the ultimate rules are. With Advanced, it's all yeah, damage but... dealt by Iron Legacy is irreducible. Then at the start of the villain turn, the villain track is shuffled, and cards are revealed until an ongoing card is revealed and put into play. And on the flip side... His advanced is the first time he'll be dealt damage each turn, redirect it to the hero target with the highest HP. Oof. Brutal. Brutal. All right, so we start with the Demoralizing Presence. Out comes the Armored Fortitude. Great, he's super Ugh. armored up. He's, yeah, he's super armored up, and he's boosting his irreducible damages. <laughs> what could go wrong? Well, he didn't play Galvanized, at least. Yes, that's true. And this strike, oof, ouch. Well, if he's gonna play it, better to play it when he doesn't have any, we don't have any ongoing cards. And now we deal ourselves some damage. Sorry, my computer is going a bit slow with the video chat and everything. That's okay. Yeah, Tachyon's only going to be down to eight. No problem. 
this is all fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, so I could destroy one of his ongoings. That seems like not a bad plan. We could actually get rid of most of his ongoings, or all of his ongoings, uh, and then he'll play one on his turn, but that's probably a good way to go. Um, right, so you can take out one. Tachyon can take out one. And uh, Tempest can take out two. And Bunker can take out one. Oh, okay. Yes, I see that. Okay, good. Uh, so if we want to take out them all, we need Tempest to do his part. Um, I'm wondering if the Wraith should use Infrared Eyepiece instead to try to plan what's going to happen next turn. <laughs> mm. uh, and then everyone else is responsible for getting rid of the ongoing. Does that make sense? Right. I may need you to walk me through it, but I'm on, I'm on board. Okay. I know about Tempest. And I know about Tachyon. Check Bunker's power. Yeah, so we could say, how about we don't have Galvanized on top, but instead Iron Justice, which still mm. sucks, but sucks less. Yeah, it sucks less. Oh, and Smoke Bombs, that's actually really good. Smoke Bomb! All right. Yeah, so yeah. So Bunker's power, just discard a mode. If you do, you may destroy an ongoing. Right, okay. So I have... Upgrade mode. So don't play upgrade mode. Is the yeah, don't play upgrade mode. Play, if you want to like play grenade launcher, do the next turn or something. Yeah, or... That's fine. I'll do that. I will discard that. All right. And we're trying to get next rid of all of these, so it doesn't really matter, right? Yeah, final evolution, I would take it first. I don't think it really matters because we're getting rid of them all. But I guess you'll want to get rid of the... Tempest does his damage and then ongoing. So you'll want to get rid of armor. I'll get rid of armor fortitude first here. Okay. And then we can all draw. And maybe we'll survive. Alright, stun bolt. And we'll Another draw. round. Nimble strike. Electrical storm. Ugh. So we will ball lightning. That I'll destroy that. I'll destroy that. Yeah, I don't have any cards to destroy, so Yeah. And I would say next turn if we're still alive, cleansing time pour is probably what yeah, we need totally. to do for the rest of the game. <laughs> Hey, Medical Ward is really good for us. Eh, that's not bad. I think that's the best one you could have put out. Um, I mean, I my gut would say one of the stun bolts. Unless you think there's something else. It's my hero, so I can do what I want. Hmm. I mean, I think you had said you wanted to keep the, the smoke bombs. Yeah, the damage is irreducible. On the, it's only on this irreducible on this side, but it's cool. We're all, we're all under ten. That seems reasonable. It's, it's fine. Just she's cleansing and poured like ten times. All right. Should I use grappling hook? 
Oh yeah, you don't have ongoing. No one has any ongoing destruction anymore, so I can use grappling hook and get rid of that armor of fortitude. And I will look at the villain deck. Yeah, how about not vigilance? That's the worst. Worse than galvanize. <laughs> it's my hero and I'll stun if I want to. Stun if I want to. Stun if I want to. Alright. Oh, uh, um, the only way we might win this game is if you Omni Cannon and shoot a giant attack at him. So, or I mean, Light Speed Barrage could also work. Um, that's fine. I can get that. I out. don't know if, if we're going to survive that long, but <laughs> yeah, we could try. Basically, with 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 challenge mode, you need to take him out on the front side because of the redirect thing. It's almost mm. impossible to take him out on the other side. Yeah. So you need to have like big damage attacks to break, to get them down from like 20 to 0 alright play to foot, what do we got? so the only way we're going to win this game is survive <laughs> yes, thank you Thick Walker yeah. alright, uh, Synaptic Interruption is going to help Tachyon survive Perhaps. Deja Fu is really, now playing one deck dungeon. I, I really want that. hypersonic assault, but that has not appeared. All right, there's nothing for me to into the stratosphere. Yeah, I mean, we had said cleansing downpour seemed like the best choice here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything heals. And the entry Same point. Ugh. Oof. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we can keep Bunker ahead of this damage. <laughs> yeah. At least I can redirect this back to himself. Insult to injury. All right, well, I can grappling hook one of those. I think that probably makes sense. And Tachyon could take out another one. Or Bunker could. Yeah, I don't know if Bunker's going to make it. <laughs> I guess with smoke bombs, but even so, like, it's ridiculous. We are yeah. all, all at six or less. <laughs> and then there's that energy point. Yeah, that energy point is just as bad. All right. I'm going to take it to Gumar like Presence. Actually, I'll take it the entry point because Bunker can't get rid of ongoing cards. Is anyone going to be damaging? All right, Legacy, I guess it's not really the priority right now. We need to control. So. And let's see what he's going to do to us next. 
I guess it's possible we could. I don't know if we have any. How much damage do we have? Could we kill him this turn? I don't mm. think we have nearly enough. Yeah, that seems like a dubious. <laughs> like if I took it Armored Fortitude instead, I could punch him for two. He'd be at 22. You could shoot him for three. Actually, you could shoot him for Ani Cannon for seven. He'd get 15. Tachyon could hit him for four and two, maybe more. Six, he'd be at nine. And then Tempest would be able to hit him for Chain Lightning. Four, five, so he'd be at four. It wouldn't be enough. It'd be close. It was worth working out. Yeah. That's pretty close. Uh, but the thing is, until we can get him that low, like, you don't want to flip him. <laughs> Though, yeah, because even when he flips, he's still going to do that final justice. It's really annoying. All right, what are these? Yeah, do we want him to deal the three here targets with the highest HP, three damage each, or destroy two equipment cards? Or, or galvanized? Gross. Let's do Flying Assault and hope that we get mm. Hypersonic Assault. <laughs> That's what oh, we need. Shit. So I would say charge up your Omni Cannon and then maybe next turn if we if we manage to survive, we can maybe win the game. I don't think it's just having twelve having six hundred would probably be enough, so Oh, and don't put all your modes because we need them to destroy ongoing cards. Rewind, oh. please. All right. All right, so instead, like, yeah, we'll do this. Hang on to your modes unless you are this. planning. And this, that's fine. Because I am going to play this just because and we'll do this. Yeah, I mean, ammo drop would probably be better to play than... Don't shoot your Omni Cannon. You literally just said shoot your Omni Cannon for seven damage. I said charge it up for next turn. Ugh. And no, we don't want to make him below 20 hit points. Like... And we, I also said we want to get rid of his ongoing cards. Go to the thing. I was working out before whether it would have made sense to damage him this round, and it doesn't. It makes sense to get him like down to twenty-one. All right, which one am I trying to destroy here? Take out the armored fortitude. <laughs> this is the quality content which keeps me coming back to this stream. All right, well, I'm happy to happy to provide. I'm happy to, to provide John's frustration, which keeps people coming back. That's right. All right. Do we get a hypersonic assault is the question. We don't. A sucker punch. Great. Well, blinding speed it is. Oh, and there's a throat jab that we can't play. That sucks. Take Walker says, handle up games. I just want to say you are a good person who leads a great team making excellent products. And I hope I don't give you too much crap on these streams. I take it in stride. I have no ill will against anybody giving me a hard time on the stream. <laughs> I completely understand that when it comes to deep strategy, that is not my forte. I'm here to provide color commentary and enjoyable fun times for you people, not necessarily to be the guy who knows exactly how to play the right card at every given time. That All right. is John's department. 
So we need to make sure we don't hit him to and thank you. be too low. What I would suggest here, if we're going to have a chance of beating him next turn, we could play a Vicious Cyclone, and then Tempest would be able to do a lot of damage on his turn next time. Okay. But I think Iron Legacy is going to kill us. Yes, I think so too. That seems like where things are going. He might not kill everyone, though. That's he doesn't kill everyone. We might be able to win. We'll see. Unfortunately, he's going to kill Bunker, which is not good. I didn't get smoke bombs out. Have has I have I ever hey. given myself a hard time? I definitely give myself a hard time. Believe me, uh, th Mate. the way things have gone for the last month or so, I've been giving myself a very hard time. But I am able to take it, and I am on board with everything on the stream. Believe me, if if I felt like I was being treated unfairly, I would speak up. <laughs> that is absolutely the case. Oh yeah, this is why we're gonna lose. <laughs> Oh, it's not the reason we thought. It's actually this thing. If it if was only doing deal all hero targets this amount of damage, everyone except Bunker would be alive. But now everyone's going to be dead. So, doesn't matter what we do here. And we picked up Throat Jab just one turn too late. I feel like we were really close to winning this In cap one. Wraith. So. In cap Bunker. In cap Tachyon. In cap Tempest. All right. Well, we took him out on regular. We couldn't quite do it on challenge. But you get to hear the Iron Legacy theme, which I'm sure if you play it regularly, you get to hear this more often than not. Or if you listen to the letters page, they probably played it on the stream. They do, yeah, they on probably the played this podcast. All right, so that's going to do it for an ep another episode of Sentinels slash One Deck Dungeon Live. Thank you for joining us. Um, and thank you if you are not at all interested in One Deck Dungeon. We do appreciate you sitting through the One Deck Dungeon period. Um, we are really excited about One Deck Dungeon. So if you're not the kind of person that's like, oh, that One Deck Dungeon seems like it's not a thing, you should really check it out. Because if you like Sentinels, I think you're really going to like One Deck Dungeon. You should check it out. Um, you should. It's on Steam. It just came out today in early access. Um, so go to OneDeckDigital.com and check it out. Um, we do do this every week on uh, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Uh, that is Sentinels Live. As I mentioned at the top of the episode, I am going to be taking a month off due to various and sundry reasons, but the show will go on without me. So please do keep checking us back, uh, check back checking back on us uh, Tuesdays at 7. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, if you like the show, please like, share, follow, and subscribe. Those are all the various buttons that you can push on various things. Uh, Sentinels of the Multiverse is currently available for iOS, Android, and Steam, and always in good old analog cardboard and ink. As I just mentioned, One Deck Dungeon is available on Steam now in early access. That does mean that it is not finished. So if you try it out in early access, uh, there will be bugs, there will be difficulties, there will be new features coming. So please do check it out because you can actually have a voice in how the game evolves. Uh, you can give us feedback. You can play the game, try it out, tell us what's working, what's not, and we will adjust. That's what early access is all about. Uh, please do head over to sentinelsdigital.com. That's where you can download and try the free demo for Sentinels. And um, you can also check out... Um, all of our social media. Check us out at Handelabra on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube, etc., etc. Uh, and I think, yeah, did I do all my things? Yep, that is all my things. So thank you, everybody. Um, have a great March. I will see you again in April. And uh, I'm Jeremy, saying good night and good luck for a month. And joining me is 
I am John. Have a good night. We'll That's see John. you next week. We'll see you next week. All right. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much.